These are all the same geometrical shapes, hence the so-called deep space object recorded by Lennar Walson. I mean, I used to think that that was some kind of a entity looking through the, no, my God, there is no entity, anything. This is the hand of God, period. Whoever designed this deal, that's what his signature is, a hand. Look, you can see the fingernail right here. Look at that, and the hand is part of another hand that is just it's so complex. Look at the geometry. You can see the fingernail. And it becomes a bigger one. It's because each one is composed of other hands. Look, right here. This is a hand like this. I mean, it's so simple but complex at the same time because the geometry keeps repeating. So that's a finger like that. And there is another one like that. You can see the fingernail right there keeps repeating and repeating and overlap another hand right here. Look, check it out. You can see the fingernail clearly. Then the middle finger, bigger. It's actually like a hand. Oops, too big. That's the second, the ring finger. You can see the curvature of the fingernail, exactly like a hand. I mean, there's so many hands in different ways that it's, it's an insult to try to duplicate this with our lines because there's so many overlapping ones. Look right here, you can see the thumb, then you see the fingers right here, boom, boom, boom. That's the hand right there. But then there is another one like that, repeating in an opposite direction and position. It's insane, man. All I can say is that this geometry is so perfect that no matter where you, how you look at it, you always match the other one it's a hand, always, shape of a hand. And this shiny part, those are the fingernails. So there's another one right here. Well, that one is, is, is covered by a smaller one. It's insane, that's all I can say. That this thing is, is so complex and simple at the same time. You can see it right here. It's a hand like this. Look at the finger now, the finger. But then it goes up like that too, both ways, downward and upward. You can see.
see a fingernail right here or a bigger hand. What is that? And then you see it here again. Look. And that thing is vibrating. It's, that's a frame. That's not even the, the image. It's a frame of the video that he recorded. And he moves. That's about the only few instances where you can see the hand actually moving. But every time you freeze the frame, you see that that, that is a hand. Look. And it's covered with smaller hands like that. And the outline from one finger is the the outline of a another finger, that, that complex, like I said, only a God-like entity could create something like this, simple and very complex at the same time. Then when you look at what's supposed to be a space, you can see this enormous finger that is part of another one, you can see the fingernail right there. You can see that, I mean, it took me long time to figure this out. Long, long time. About five years, I've been looking at this geometry. What a space is, it's all the same geometry, fingers. I mean, a hand, but it repeats in so many ways that it, it makes it difficult to discern what this is. This over create this. As you can see, once you once you establish that that's what the geometry is, then you figure it out easily. It's on everything. See, it repeats right here and repeats and repeats. Look, and that's the thumb right here. For that hand. But it keeps repeating because it's translucent and it's three dimensional. Like I said, only a god like entity could create this. Essentially, we are breathing this deal. It's inside us, outside, everywhere, everything has that. We're swimming in that. This geometry. This is an enormous hand. It becomes smaller and smaller, but it's really one gigantic hand. Get a fingernail right there. It's incredible, man. It's just incredible.